Hey guys, Eric here with Eric Reviews, and today I will be reviewing and comparing three of uh, these English laundries. Hey guys, so here's a presentation for these. Now this little gift set was missing the Oxford Blue. So because it was missing that, I got it at Ross for... For one forty-nine, so that's a deal. Fifty cents a piece. Pretty good buy right here. All right, guys. So there's the gift set. All right, so we're gonna start off with the uh, English Laundry Arrogant. Let's give this a spray. And this was launched in 2010. Uh, sprayers aren't that good on these, but then again, they're really cheap, so Wasn't really expecting much All right, and the notes for Aragon are uh, amber sandalwood coriander lavender cedar and bergamot and I'm pretty sure this is a linear frag fragrance because it doesn't have a uh, Like base notes top notes or mid notes. They're all just on the same thing Let's see what this smells like. Alright, so it's kind of fresh and spicy. A flowery. You smell a lot of flowers in this. A little woody, but not really. I think I'm smelling the, the lavender. Yeah, kind of a lot of lavender. Powdery. It smells good, though. Like, I think you could, you could probably wear this in the spring. Yeah, probably in the spring is the best best time to wear this. And I see like uh, maybe uh, 25 and up wearing this, like 25 year olds and up. It's not really like a blue smell, like a. It's a little different than your uh, crowd pleasers, but it still smells good. Yeah, p powdery, flowery, and a little woody. Yeah, it smells pretty good. And uh, performance on these, I get uh, about an hour of projection and then like five hours of longevity on the skin. They're not really good performers, but they're pretty cheap, so it's, uh, it's not a bad deal. So that was uh, Arrogant by English Laundry. And uh, I think you could get compliments with this just depends like who smells it because it's not going to be for everyone but yeah it's, overall it smells really good and uh, if I were to rate this one I think I'd give it like a hmm or we'll wait till after the dry down so that was arrogant now let's do let's do Riviera this is the blue one and uh, this one this one has a lot of notes. So top notes are cedar, lemon, bergamot, and what is that, lime? Yeah, lime. Mint notes are lavender, mint, oak moss, vetiver, nutmeg, mandarin orange, lily, cassis, jasmine, comarin, black pepper, with base notes of sandalwood, Amiris, wood, oak moss, and rosemary. So yeah, that's a lot of notes on this one. And this one was launched in uh, 2010. So let's give this one a spray. Yeah, they all spray pretty shitty. Like, <laughs> pretty bad atomizers, but... I mean, for the, for the price, you can't really expect much. Alright, this one smells citrusy, green, really fresh, and not really woody, just green, fresh, and a little citrus, but not, not a lot. Yeah, this one smells really good. 
probably I think this is more of a blue fragrance that's what it, it kind of smells like it smells like a crowd pleaser they compare it to El Home by YSL but I don't I mean yeah I guess it maybe has the same DNA yeah this is more of a blue fragrance it smells really good yeah this is a a crowd pleaser you'll probably get compliments with this and this one I see uh, I see younger people wearing this it's called Riviera maybe uh, high schoolers wear this it's got a pretty good smell and I think if I were to wear this I'd wear this in the summer on a hot day and uh, if I were to rate this one or we'll wait till after the dry down and I'll rate all of them and then see which I'll line them up from uh, best to worst alright so let's do this last one it's called Notting Hill and I've reviewed this one on my channel before so if you want to see the review just look at my videos alright let's spray this one yep also sprays bad Alright, now this one was launched in uh, 2013, so I think this is the newer, one of the more newer ones. And this one has a uh, lime, lemon, bergamot, with mint notes of pepper, jasmine, sitting on base notes of musk, amber, sandalwood, and cedar. And let's give this one a smell. Alright, this one smells really citrusy really woody I mean really fresh and spicy a little musky yeah you can smell kind of you can smell the pepper yeah pepper musk all the the top notes all the the bergamot the lemon the lime yeah this one's a really good smell also it's not really a blue fragrance but it'll get you compliments for sure it smells good and I think if I were to wear this probably wear this also in the summer spring that's what it's leaning to like towards a fresh green smell and longevity they're pretty much all the same it's like an hour projection and like five hours of a uh, longevity and they're comparing this one to safari for men by Ralph Lauren and I've never smelled that, so I don't I can't really tell you if it smells like it or not. But this is definitely a compliment getter also. And now let's rate these. Or let's smell the dry downs first. So this is the this is the arrogant. Yeah, now it smells really flower more flowery than before, a little woody. Uh, even more powdery but still smells good I mean it's still good compliments and that was uh, arrogant I think that one I'm gonna give it a let's do like a 7 out of 10 from this one smell wise price and longevity now let's do the the Riviera All right, this one is even more blue, more it's, it's more spicy. It's like woody, woody, citrusy, and spicy. But yeah, this is a blue fragrance. Smell the a little bit of that that black pepper. A little bit of lily. Some. Uh, oak moss yeah this one it got a little woody now and spicier and it kind of lost the citrus in it can't smell it at all so this one I'm a I'll probably give it a 7.5 out of 10 this is your blue fragrance it's gonna please everyone it compliments everywhere all right now let's do the last one Notting Hill this one smells more uh, more musky now still fresh spicy citrusy but now it's a more musky 
and uh, okay, not really woody. I think it's just a musk. Yeah, this one. I think this one might be the best. I think I'm gonna give this one an eight out of ten. Probably the best smelling. Yeah, so I'm a. I think I'm gonna do Notting Hill, number one. Followed by Riviera. And then third with the uh, arrogant. All right, guys. So there was my review on these uh, English laundry ones. I think it's three of them. They have more, but these are the only ones I got a hold of. So don't forget to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe for more uh, fragrance content. And I'm out.